we are doing yet another all pro dad's day and uh today jacob is going to be the all pro dad right dude are you the all pro dad no. huh yeah. oh oh yeah i'm the all pro dad he keeps wanting me to do my new voices that i'm working on for mr eric zillo and the only one i really do a lot now but it'll probably be the first character that i use or whatever it's like um He's a farmer guy that's grown up on the farm. Kind of redneck, kind of a southern country boy. That kind of thing, you know? Because I already have a, a southern accent, so it's kind of easy to flow into that. And when we first got in the car, he's like, do your voices, do your voices. And I really don't want to do any voices right now. And I just start talking in, uh, in the country voice. Right? He likes it when I talk like that, you know, because we don't live in the big old city. We live out in the country. All right, so All Pro Dad's Day is over with. It was pretty good. We had to talk about obstacles in life and things that we've overcome um, as we've gone through life and things that we learn and, and how it's important for us to overcome obstacles in life. Well, everybody knows I have a pretty big obstacle in life. I had cancer and I overcame it and I deal with it by trying to make sure that my children know that there's a, there's a moment of happiness in every single day and you know, I explain that to them all. Um, when I was younger there was also an obstacle of uh, I had seizures when I was around Jacob's age a lot. Um, I would just all of a sudden break down into a seizure. I had grandma seizures and um, I got a bunch of tests ran on me, a bunch of things where you have to stay up like 24 hours in a row and then have a bunch of wires stuck to your head. It was really weird at that age. And um, I kind of grew out of it. So that was something that it was just my body. It just, I don't know, it was in my genes or something. But I grew out of it, overcame that obstacle. And uh, see, Jacob, he let everybody know. Well, actually he did Because his obstacle was shyness. Um, he really didn't let everybody know. But <laughs> I told everybody that that's his obstacle. And that's his biggest obstacle to, to overcome is his shyness. So when, when Casey LeVere came and visited us uh, about a month back or so, Casey thought, man, he is shy because Jacob is super shy. And he's not real shy on camera. He's, he interacts on the camera and he, he's, he's all funny. And, but then when you see him in person, if he's never met you before, it takes about an, a good hour before he warms up to you and he's not shy. I mean, it's a good hour at least. So at the beginning of All Pro Dads, they, they, they lead off by having the, the father. I mean, a mom could be there too, then you could have a mom there, but it's All Pro Dads Day, so it's always just dads. Um, they have the dads lead out by saying their name and then saying their kid's name and listing off something that they're proud of. And Jacob was excited because I told everybody he made straight A's and that he's the hardest hitter on his t-ball team. He hits it out to the, to the outfield for t-ball. And I also told him that he's on a reading level of 18. Did I tell you guys that? <coughs> Did I say that yet? Yeah, well, anyways. Jay, and I also told him that Jacob's at a reading level of 18. He only has to have a 16 to be ready for second grade. And he's at an 18. So, and he's still got more, another six weeks or so to go in school. So, yes, he's so smart. It's on our counter here, honey. There's some t-shirts. Oh, we got some CTFXC or some Shaytard t-shirts. Nope. Oh, we got the Easy E E Poddle, huh? We got their stuff. No. No. Oh wait, I know what it is. It has to be the Our Little Planet shirt because he was just talking about having the shirt. What? What is that? That looks like an Eric TV 365 shirt. Sweet. That's an extra large, guys. Yeah, I know. Hey, wait. Get them. Where do we get these things at? Um, we have a store we've set up, but it's secret right now. Because I want to make sure that I like the way they, they fit and everything before I tell you guys to, to check it out. And there's Amy's. She got the Life After Cancer one. And we still have other ones out, too. Sweet! So who's wanting to buy some of these shirts? I found a place that sells them really 
I mean, it's not super cheap, but it's cheaper than District Lines. It's cheaper than some of the other ones. It's the same place that Wheezy Waiter uses. Um, so there's your hint. Whoever can find it first. And let's see. We're going to have a contest here, honey. Babe, I think we're going to buy one shirt for whoever finds the store first and tweets it out. Is that fair? We'll buy one shirt. I think that's fair. Okay, that's the contest, guys. There's another contest. We're going to buy whoever finds our store first from the little hints that I just gave and tweets it out. I will, uh, as long as you're in the U.S., you have to be in the U.S., I'll buy you a shirt and I'll send it to you. Just provide me your address. You really, really want to play that with me? Well, I have this cast, dude. I can't play games like that. It requires you to use both thumbs, and I can't use both thumbs. So, man, I need to try this shirt on. Hold on a second. Oh, wow. That's a pretty cool shirt you got there, babe. Yeah, I like that. Nice. How do I look? Cool. Yep. Cool. I like it. I think it's a good, they're good for my first run shirts, and they're not real expensive. So. Does it feel weird to wear a shirt with your name on it? It kind of feels a little bit weird. <laughs> I want to see you guys wearing a shirt with our channel on it. That would be cool. You like it? Xander, do you yeah. want one? Do you want a shirt like this? I don't. You know what? Whoever finds that store first, I'll pick out a shirt for you or whatever. Or you'll pick out a shirt and I'll buy it. And here you go. But I'd like to uh, have some ideas. Like if you see the other color combinations, because if you look, you'll see colors that you can change the shirt. It doesn't have to be like this. So you can pick like a blue shirt with this white E or a blue shirt with the black E. Just look and you can change the options on it. But if you see something that there's not the, the color you'd like, send me a message or whatever and I might be able to add that into the store just for you. All right guys, I am officially a maker partner now. Contract's been signed, paperwork has been delivered, and I am part of Maker Studio. I'm kind of excited, it's kind of an exciting feeling. Although in the beginning, it might make less. In the end, it's gonna really help our channel out, all of our channels. That sounds pretty fake, dude. Hey. It looks pretty fake to him. Mommy's looking at you. <laughs> Mr. Faker back there. Why are you in such a good mood? Because I got these cool like new shirts. You got this your new red camera, too. Mom, you have to delete that yep. thing off. Why should you have to delete it? Because it's not good. Uh, so, <laughs> hey, if the game's not good, you gotta delete that app, okay? We don't keep apps that aren't good. <laughs> Dinner. You gotta help, help Bubba out. <laughs> I guess we're gonna get snow cones up in this guys. Thank you. This thing zooms in pretty good. These are to sit real still. What kind did you get, Eve? Which one? Sweet tart. I said real bubble Ah, sweet tart. Then what are you getting? Real bubble gum. All right. And mommy's getting birthday cake. What are you playing? Uh, I don't know. Was it ring toss? Did it try to hook it on there? Oh, Used to be good this game, dude. What's wrong? Oh, okay. I'll do it. You haven't played in a while. No. Not even close, dude. So tell everybody the rules. You don't know how to play it? So, you get how many tries? Five tries? Yeah, like five. Yeah. And then if you touch the hook, you get one point. And then if you can get the ring to loop onto the hook, you get five points. Like this. Yep. And you used to be really good at this game. I still am. <laughs> Just need to practice some, huh? Oh, yeah! Oh, we missed it! Your muscles, that's on. Ah! Some of your tongue. Daddy, look. Daddy, look. I like it. Wait, wait. Why?
All right, Tanner, watch out. Let Bubba do it. All right, all right. What's the secret? <laughs> just, just ram it into the pole. And just skip that pole. No. Come on, now, Tanner, wait. Let Bubba get another. There's another one. Tanner, come over here. So Who's close. Who's going to make it first? Who's going to make it first? <laughs> Who's going to make it first? <laughs> Can't do it once. He's just letting it swing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not batting practice, Steve. Yeah, you have to grab it again, Billy. Grab it and drop it again. Right, You're hold, so hold, close. Who's gonna win? I am. Oh, Jacob won. 